Previously on Survivor. Time with two Survivor greats was on the line at the immunity challenge, along with a mysterious reward. After winning the challenge, the Fairmount tribe gained valuable insight from Bryce and James. There's no such thing as the moral side of the world. There's always a strategic. And after others were too late, Paige found the variance advantage to twist up the game. All players will be forced to re-vote for someone else. At the Roxboro tribe, each tribe dug in their heels as they foresaw a deadlocked tie. But after feeling in danger, Timmy made the biggest move of the game thus far and voted Natasha out of the tribe. Ten are left. Who will be voted out? tonight. Glass falls, so we do the same. Hey girl. Hi. Welcome Hi. to the same time. Welcome, welcome. I'm still keeping my guard up a little bit. Um, in terms of what happens next, maybe there might be a challenge between the merge team and us, and seeing, you know, if we have a chance to get back in, is what I'm guessing. So we don't know for sure if we can get back in. Well, there's going to be a challenge. We have a flag. For our team. It's interesting that so far no one's really here that I, I don't think anyone's here whose name would have been written down on a tile um, unless someone's lying but it's I, I don't think so I, I think we're pretty good so and uh, I'm gonna give a thousand percent to get back in this game. I love it. <laughs> if only one person can come back in and it's not me, I would definitely want Jen to be in there. I feel like we just made a real big connection and it would break the mold, you know, um, for someone older, you know, um, to, to win this game. She's been through so much. She's really a, a real survivor. What happened just now? What happened? You're a purple girl. Won't you? <gasps> what? I knew that was going to happen. It's the brigade. And if I get back into the game, I'm probably going to come after Jasmine, Jaleesa, anyone who I felt like uh, lied to me. Um, if you lied to me that early in the game, you're definitely going to lie to me again. I see myself in that final two or final three, pleading my case to the jury to win. And I think that this is just part of um, my mere storyline in this game, and that's okay with me. This game is getting hard to handle. Will your betrayals lead to a scandal? We have only nine players left to quell, and at this point, only time will go. I just cannot wait. I can't wait to come back in and see everybody's faces when I'm like, hi, you thought you got rid of me? That's so funny. I'm back. Bum, bum. <laughs> Revenge is a good conductor of hope. Look forward to see those reactions. I want to screenshot that and put that on my wall, honestly. <laughs> All right, you've arrived at your next challenge at Survivor of Philadelphia, Now or Never. The game is moving forward, it's getting hot out. I will take back the tribal immunity. All right, it's 12.34 p.m. Tribal immunity is no more because congratulations, you have made it to the merge. Everybody drop your buffs. 
Demerge tribe color is going to be bright, hopefully indicative of a bright future for all of you because your tribe will be orange. <laughs> All right, you've each got a buff. I got an extra one here. Should we give somebody the chance to earn it? Come on in! Oh my gosh! When each player was voted out this season, they were taken to a remote area called the Sands of Time, where your past and your future collide. They awaited a chance to return to the game. This is that chance. Now today, all 16 of you will be competing in this Merge Immunity Challenge. For the 10 of you, you're trying to win the Immunity Necklace. Guarantee your safety at tonight's Tribal Council. For the six of you, you're playing for something far greater a spot back in the game. However, if you really want to get back in the game, you're going to have to earn it. Because in order to get back in the game, you must beat all 15 other players in this game. If one of the six of you does not beat all players in the game, no one will return. So do you want to hear about the challenge today? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Today's challenge is called Hard to Handle and it's very simple. For this now or never challenge, you will each balance a ball on a small pedestal. At regular intervals, you move your arms further down the pedestal, making it more difficult. If your ball drops, you are eliminated. And for the six of you, you're out of the game for good. The last player left with the ball on their pedestal will win immunity. That's looking a little uneven right now. When each of you were voted out, you were told to think about the person that you felt most betrayed by, most responsible for your elimination, to disadvantage them when the time was right. I'm here to tell you that the time is right, because your past mistakes are about to come back to haunt you. The disadvantage was awarded in the form of a red block. This block will be placed on top of your pedestal, giving you a higher height and a smaller width in order to balance your ball. So one at a time, I'm going to ask each of you to reveal who you disadvantaged, you can walk over, give your block to the corresponding player. So Jen, as the first player eliminated, who are you disadvantaged? I turned Gates. Since we never even made eye contact. And I think it's Gates scenario. Alright, next was Johnny. Who are you disadvantaged? <laughs> Johnny chooses Ben. <laughs> Next up is Kristen. Who will you be disadvantaging? Sorry. Next up is Amir. Who will you be disadvantaging? Who thinks that it was them? <laughs> <laughs> who thinks that? Who thinks your name is on the block? Jaleesa. I think that you could have <laughs> fought for me a little harder, but I could be wrong. All right, next up is Emma. Who are you disadvantaging? Paige. Sorry. Try to get a girl. And last up is Natasha. Who are you disadvantaging? I think it was Timmy who betrayed me. Not positive, but... All right, so we've got Paige with two blocks, Gabe with a block, Timmy with a block, Ben with a block, Jaleesa with a block. Those blocks will be on top of your pedestal, making it that much harder in the challenge. So I think we've tipped the scales a little. It's time to see who can take control of the game in this present moment, in this park in Philadelphia, to capitalize on this opportunity. Are you all ready to get to your most important challenge yet? All right, we'll drop our spots and we'll get it on. All right, you all have your pedestals. Some of you have your disadvantage blocks and you are ready for the biggest challenge of this game. To the 10 players in the game, you're playing for the immunity necklace, safety at tonight's Merge Tribal Council. For the six eliminated players, you're playing for this Merge buff, a spot back in the game 
and you will win the immunity necklace, guaranteeing you safety at this tribal council. Now, in the event that one of the six of you does not win this challenge and no one returns to the game, you're still playing for something extremely beneficial. The first spot on the jury, ensuring that the info from the sands of time will move forward into this game. So the player of the six of you who lasts the longest will be guaranteed a spot on the jury and you'll keep fighting to try to beat everyone else for your spot back in the game. You have arrived at your now or never moment. This outcome right here, right now, will determine the trajectory of the rest of this game for good. You've got nothing else to focus on right now except this present moment in this park in Philadelphia. This is the biggest moment of the game. Survivors ready? Ball's on the pedestal. And this challenge is on. Jasmine's out. Kristen's out. Gabe is out. Emma's out. We've got a quick, quick turnaround. Manfred's out. Everything's on the line right now. This is the most important moment of the game. Paige is out as you fight for your shot back in the game. Sunshine's out. We're down to five players in the game, four players out of the game. This could end very quickly if you don't keep your concentration because this moment is everything. This is not Survivor Philadelphia definitely later. It's you come back now or you never do. Everybody is laser focused right now. Things have settled. We've got nine people left in this challenge. I can see the focus on these faces. Sweat beaming down the sides of your face. It's hot out here in Philadelphia. Johnny's struggling. He saves it. Gets it back to steady. Natasha, Amir, Johnny, and Jen fighting for their spot back in the game. Ryan, Robinette, Timmy, Ben, and Jalisa trying to stop them. Johnny's out, and his shot at the title of Soul Survivor comes to an end. Three players left from the Sands of Time, five players left in the game. Ryan seeing some movement, he gets it back. Robinette completely turned around, doing whatever she needs to to stay in this challenge. Timmy trying to guide it with his hand. He can't touch the pedestal, but if it works for him, it works for him. Ryan eliminated from the challenge, Shot at immunity is over. Timmy's struggling. You don't want to give up now. You've come so far. Ben with some movement. Ben is eliminated. We're down to three players out of the game, three players in the game. Two of them with disadvantage blocks to make it more difficult. Natasha, Ymir, and Jen are fighting for their life in the game right now. 20 seconds left in this round. You don't want to drop now. Everybody looking stable. Five, four, three, two, one. You are safe. You can grab your balls. Congratulations on surviving the first round of this challenge. It's 12.53 and you're about to embark on the second round of this challenge. Your hand is now firmly in the middle of the pedestal, making it that much more difficult. Robinette, Timmy, and Jalisa fighting for immunity. Natasha, Amir, and Jen fighting for this merge buff and a guaranteed spot back in the game. Are you guys ready for your next round? All right, ball on top, I'm gonna count you in. Five, four, three, two, one. This challenge is on. Everybody makes the transition, everybody is in. I'm here struggling, Timmy's struggling, trying to get it back. Robinette with some movement, Jalisa with some movement. This round is proving to be more difficult. It's time to put it all on the line in this present moment to secure your future in the game. Everybody looking rock solid right now. You should be extremely proud of yourself. Amir with some movement, but he saves it. Laser focused on that ball. Robinette with some movement. Timmy trying to guide with his hand from a distance. Two minutes remaining in this round. 
You guys are doing an amazing job. Keep it up. Timmy and Jalisa maneuvering with that disadvantage block, making it that much more difficult. Timmy with some movement. Timmy's losing it. Can he get it back? Spinning around a full rotation. Timmy is laser focused right now. He's gotten it back multiple times. Natasha with some Jen, out of nowhere, falls out of the game. It's down to Aymir and Natasha for their shot back in the game, competing against Delisa, Timmy, and Robinette. One minute remaining in this challenge. Keep it up, guys. This is all you have to focus on right now, is this moment right here, right now. Everybody, back to being steady. Timmy with some more movement. Delisa with some movement. Robinette is solid. Just one stray thought or one gust of wind could send your entire game crashing down. 15 seconds remaining in this round. Robinette with some movement. Timmy with some movement. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody grab your balls. You are safe again. All right, are you guys ready for your last round? Yeah. I just want to get back in the game. I'm not coming after you. I was going to fight for this. Because that'd be a thing. Like, if just say if I beat Natasha, could could I win just to get back in the game, or do you guys feel free? I don't know. I got to, I'm just looking at this. I don't know. I mean, I'm just fighting for my life. Sorry. Okay. All right, let's reset. We're going into our final round. This is the biggest challenge of the game, the biggest moment for you. This final round, your hand is fully down. I'm going to count you in. Five, four, three, two, one. One. This challenge is on. Robinette with some movement. Timmy with movement. He saves it again. You can tell this round is exponentially more difficult. Jalisa starts to move. Everybody working hard to try to guarantee safety in this game. Robinette spun around. Timmy's rotating. Jalisa drops. Jalisa eliminated. It's down to two versus two. Robinette and Timmy versus Natasha and Amir. Timmy spinning around like he's dizzy, trying to maintain a sense of calm. Natasha and Aymir are solid. They have their sights set on returning to the game. Timmy's moving again. Timmy and Robinette spun around. Eliminated players getting yelled at for talking. Natasha and Aymir are like statues, focused on their shot back in the game. Timmy drops. He's out of the challenge. It's down to Robinette. Robinette either wins immunity or one of Amir or Natasha will be back in this game. Natasha struggling, trying to save it. Natasha eliminated. Her spot in the game is gone. It's now down to Robinette versus Amir. Either Aymir comes back in the game or Robinette wins immunity. I just want to be back. I'll give you my immunity. It's a bargaining trying to be had. Aymir guaranteed spot as the first juror on the jury, at least if he doesn't come back to the game. Aymir is locked in. Robinette locked in. Trying to win this challenge. It all comes down to this. Robinette or Aymir. Aymir eliminated. Robinette wins immunity. Nobody will return from the sands of time. 
All right, Robinette, you had an extraordinary effort winning this challenge, guaranteeing your safety at tonight's Merge Tribal Council. Come get your necklace. You cannot be voted out. One of the nine of you will. You can rejoin your tribe. Sands of Time players, you gave it everything you had. You placed all six disadvantages in the game. You maximized your chances. I mean, you fought so hard. What's the feeling as you put everything that you had into this? I don't know. Um, this means a lot to me. In 2019, when this game came out, I inquired about playing Survivor Philly. And then season two came out and COVID came around. And then I finally got to come here and play. And then I'm just a competitor. And it's, I don't think that I might ever be on real Survivor one day. So this is like my opportunity to like play. So like a little bit of set. You fought hard for this entire game. You were so impressive in the challenge. And I'm sure you've inspired a lot of people watching this right now. You should be extremely proud of yourself. All right, Sands of Time players, you can head on out. Your journey has concluded. All right, the 10 of you remaining in the game, you are about to enjoy a merge feast sponsored by Chipotle. We got the burritos, the rice, the queso. You guys are going to head over There's to your no merch piece. I will see you tonight at Tribal Council where somebody will become the next member of the jury. I am shocked. I was not expecting to even win <laughs> any challenges. I actually love to focus and it's like karate or I don't know, like yoga where you're focused and you're... Everything went quiet. <laughs> And it was just me and the ball and the pedestal. And I really, actually, I'd do it again. I love, I love that one. I just made merge. I'm super excited to continue to play the game. So I just want to continue to try to play the middle low key and continue to just make connections between people. The second blanket really brings the room together, you know? <laughs> it feels amazing to make the merge, obviously, especially with the way this game started for my tribe. And I've been a target throughout the game, so it feels good to make it. I don't know. I'm the fan, but... Yeah, let's go. We're down in a lot of numbers. Getting a uh, Nat out last round definitely is going to help us this round. Um, she had a lot of connections over here. I'm her Charlie. Right. The Panthers are as good as they used to be. We have some stuff, yeah. Um, we had it set up that Paige was sitting on one side of the blanket and I was sitting on the other side of the blanket during that tribe uh, meetup. So like, if anything funky went down, and like something was getting passed around or whatever, like we had eyes at all angles on it. Oh, we made it, y'all! Yeah. 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 What's our tribe name? Mm. Oh, okay. Did they give us one? Or we... I think we should come up with it. It'd be yeah. more fun. Mm -hmm. It should be themed though. Of course. Should we do another Philly thing? Wait, who's got the paint? I got, I got a war paint up. Are they still here? No, oh, it's dad. We got it over daddy. there. Okay, okay. I had purple. I've been too. so jealous the whole time. I had purple, but the second that I got the email saying that I was green, yeah. I left it on my goat. Yeah. Sorry, purple. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. It'd be like that. Because my buddy was constantly in the video, his favorite color was Oh, wow. And I was like, I know he's watching now. Oh. He's been looking at purple. I know it. I'm going to get it. When I first got here, we were talking about like how close it's named, like you know. My grandpa passed away in April. And his best friend's name was Manfred. Really? And his, his bird's name was Sunshine. Wow. wow. That's crazy. And I was that's like, crazy. those people in my tribe, like that's like, the two most yeah. common names. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. crazy. That was crazy. You know, just came back. Yeah. 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 No, he's on a track. Oh my gosh, I wanted um, Mary come back so bad because that was somebody that I was working with. Um, so he was like very emotional. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 I really needed him back. Honestly, I really didn't want him to leave. But 
I work really well with Jaleesa. We've been working um, side by side. Um, I feel like that's my closest person in this game. Also, Ben, we've really kept it um, Roxborough strong. So I'm hoping that we still continue to do that. And hopefully, we uh, sway a fair amount to come with us too. So. <laughs> we have to go to that place every time. Uh, Robin at Wins a Challenge, Amir is now a first member of the jury, and we have the numbers. I mean, Fairmount has six, the Roxborough Tribe has four, and I wish it was simple to say, hey, six is four, let's go to the final six. Smooth sailing, but that's just not the case. There's a lot of things that need to be considered before this vote, and there's not a lot of time. Are you still working Because we like just get it. And I'm like feeling so good, no split. I, I, I don't. I just don't want you to have bad blood with me because I, I, I had to not. take out Emma. Dude, and, dude, I understand. Um, um, okay. Dude, oh, so you did. Okay, you did. Okay, you that's how we survive. Okay. Enjoy the girls. With Timmy. Okay, so then, I think the tribe lines have already been blurred. I already flipped when I was, you know, I flipped on Emma when we were on swap tribes. So I feel like the lines are blurred and I'm just going to keep going with it. There's no one named you. What, from your info, from being on green, what was the green solid? But they're not for who she is. Does anyone have toys? Or? I don't know to take out the big guy just because I thought all these were easiest, but like, it's the big I, don't, I, like, I don't really feel like I'm a party group just because I feel like I've been left I know. out and lied to. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm but, 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 but honestly, at the same time, like, I still mess with you. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Okay, like, okay. But, but, but that's what I'm saying. Okay. You guys need to tell me who you want. Okay. And I'll come back to you for a chance. Okay. And, what happened? it was a little intense because there were certain things I wanted to ask but then I didn't want to be the one to ask those questions like for example like what happened with Natasha but in the like vote that was red, it was Natasha. Natasha got three votes from purple, and then green was supposed to stay strong, but then Julissa only got two votes, and then because of that, Natasha got voted out. That's crazy, okay. So maybe they had some sort of advantage then. Right, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, okay. That's crazy, okay. I'm gonna do some recon. Tim, Tim, you mind talking with me real quick? Yeah. Um, so... Because I did so well with the disadvantage, that definitely puts me on the radar for people. And especially with the theory that I flip being out there also, I could definitely win on the chopping board. Yeah, it was three, Natasha, and then two, four, um, to listen. So someone didn't have a vote. Yeah. Not sure where Timmy and Robin and heads are at because they could think that I'm a threat. You know, Robin had already voted for me once and Timmy and I have to kind of create some more common ground. Yeah, I just wanted to like, clear the air if there was things with like Emma and us voting her out. I don't know how you guys feel about that. She I'm was like, oh, I was trying to do a girls thing, but like, I don't know. I felt like a little upset because it wasn't just my decision. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, I would have loved to have a, another like girl in the tribe, but like they were all like, no, we want Gabe. So like, I didn't want to go against. The mm. I really only currently trust, I would say Jasmine, Ben, and then I'm hoping now just meeting the other side, I'm hoping that Paige is with us. Uh, yeah. Right, we knew that we needed to stay strong because we didn't have a lot. So, these are my girls. We're all together. Okay, so I don't know what the vibe's been for the green. But I know it's a big group. It seems like there's a lot of big personalities that have maybe been yeah. steering some things. And yeah. I know you were expressing some. A lot of good. Do you have, any, do you have anybody that's solid? Um, I love Robin. I do love Robin. Hey, Robin. You, you didn't come with us last time. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like the sure boys. Sure didn't. Damn, I thought we were. Sure cool. didn't. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. Cool. It's 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 cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I still feel pretty connected to Pay. I still feel a strong sense of connection to Fairmont, to my tribe. Initially, it was shaky. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what happened over there, <laughs> but they, it was like drama vibes. I don't know what happened in Roxborough, <laughs> but they are coming from a place of um, upheaval. <laughs> and you can feel that, and the ramifications of that are still present now. And you know we we didn't really have that, so right, right. We, we didn't have that, but right, we I don't know what happened in there. Okay, just like a lot. Away. Yeah. I mean, they're kind of green has the majority right now. It's six greens, four purples, and I think we should stay green strong. And now it's not the time to turn on each other. So now they're going for me. I don't know what I did. They think I have an idol. Probably, but I don't. It is a lot of conversation going around. I'm hearing my name a lot. I understand. You know, I've, it, that first challenge is, is going to haunt me until the end of this game. But I think people think I have an idol. I don't. And that's the same thing that Amir did. And they voted him out. So I guess that I understand being weary, but I think we just gotta stay strong. Honestly, bro, because like I'm, I'm green till we die. I think the tribe sees me as the person who, if you sit next to him in the end, you will lose. And that's hilarious because they're right. And in order for me to win, everybody else here has to lose. And I'm gonna make sure that that happens. What's up, Doc? Can, can I please stop real quick? Sure. We never had a chance to talk after the last time. Okay. Sorry. I really want to feel good about Timmy. He flipped over last time with us, and that was crucial in like having the, the purple survive that vote. Because if they know they're getting there, they're like, Are you in? Yeah. But I didn't get a lot of time to talk to him in this section because he was like, they're going to see. And so I'm trusting him based on the, you know, the report we built last round. I'm gonna look up safe right now just so they don't like understand. Okay. Cause like you should have told me what it was. Like, yeah, never, okay, like, that's fair. Anything, so. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, uh, I, okay. He kind of gave me a look and we did a little charade where we pretended like we were like, kind of mad at each other. How do you feel about that? I mean, I don't know, this is also kind of like a green one. I've been trying to put out like, listen, these people are really good at challenges. We need to get them out because end of the day, they're gonna keep winning immunity, keep winning challenges. And Brian, I feel like he's really strong, he's very athletic, he's also very likable. This is physique and, and really good at challenges. I feel like he's definitely. Yeah. Yo, Ben, do you want to talk? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would love to battle with you throughout this run. And I'm not saying like, oh, save me, save me. My goal is to vote out Ryan because I think he's the, the big dog on campus. Um, but he kind of proposed to me this idea of like, he perceives me as the biggest threat of the purple tribe and like trading people from our teams without targeting each other. But I'm down to keep your mouth on it, you keep my mouth on it, and we can just kind of fire shots at each other and then yes, fun. Yeah. Ben's coming after me. Am I coming after him? Maybe. I'm not gonna show him my cards. But we did just agree to each other that hey, maybe if we keep each other around we can be shields to one another. But that's, oh, that's yeah. it's all it's all yeah. well and good in survivor failure. Yeah. It's all well and good. 100%. And he was kinda of saying like we're, might be perceived as challenge threats, but I want to win these challenges. I want to. I want to go. Um, I know I'm going to be perceived as a threat if I make it down the stretch. So I'm going to need to win some of those things, and I can't have you know a former football player and you know Mr. America out of here, you know, breaking my ankle. How things go with the uh, Natasha and those? Well, y'all saw my face. <laughs> I'm going into this with a complete different mindset, and I'm just going to be open because you never know whose vote you're going to need. Curveball, total curveball. Yeah. But, wait, so you didn't vote for it? No. We're in the merge now, like, 
it's not gonna be like rainbows and unicorns the next hour or so. Like, it's gonna get cut through, and it's gonna get cut through real fast. How much three three? No, I did not put it on Natasha. The merch, it's it's a it's bittersweet because I I'm still not over Natasha. Okay, so you can you do? Yeah, because Natasha gave to me. Natasha gave to me. That disadvantage. I did not vote for Natasha. No. She said this is for flipping on it. That's what she said when she gave him the ring. I was not expecting that. I thought we were solid, and I didn't think that Timmy was going to um, flip. Man, I don't know. That's what I got. Was it four two? Yeah. Um, geez, okay. um, I hear a different story from Robinette who says that Ben turned Timmy and that Natasha had gone four votes and not three. So now I'm like seeing like he is definitely a threat and like it's making me very nervous. This game is getting scary. He voted me for me the first trial, so I don't feel very good about that. Hey, you wanna talk? Okay. DJ, DJ. So I think the tribal lines are still mostly green together. Um, I think we have Robinette. I don't think she got pulled into that side. And then I don't know about Tim though. I feel like he might have gone to the purple side. <laughs> no. What's up, Gabe? How are you doing? How you feel? Not I've good. heard good things about you. Really? What, yeah. what have you heard? You're a tough player. Oh yeah. Well, and see, that you're like team. I mean, the, the thing is, fair amount. The thing is, I yes. Well, the thing is, every round I pledge my allegiance to someone, mm -hmm. and that person backs up. And I voted the right way every like I voted like how I said I was gonna vote every yeah, time. Yeah. And every time they took me. I got a great vibe from uh, Gabe. Gabe seems to be aligned in terms of values and energy. If you, you want to be the DJ as well, I'm just kind of being in person, just like little, one time. GP, GP DJs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the thing is, we can have this conversation and know we're rock, rock solid because the way it's looking, they're kind of putting us in the middle, I feel. Mm. You kind of decide what they want to go. I feel like it's to your as well. I think Ben probably should go because he actually approached me in the middle of a challenge earlier today saying that Ryan had an idol and I was like what? So I was like okay like maybe this is someone I want to work with post merge and then people are telling me that he's like super nice with everyone like he's playing this game and he's dangerous and I had to lie to his face. It's alright, well I'm down to all right. it, bro. Little does he know I'm voting for him tonight. So it, it looks like a couple, it looks like Ben and the two girls are going to draw a line. And the other four green are going to draw a line. Can you just you, you, and you draw the end. Okay, in the middle. Ryan's got a target on his back, and Ben has a target on his back. Yeah, super nice, super charming. But at the same time, I want to survive, and I think Ryan is somebody who is powerful but is a big threat to a human. If you like to pick up some pieces and get some steam, he's a good challenge for me. I haven't made a decision yet, so, ah, oh gosh, I I don't. I'm going to decide as I walk over there, <laughs> actually. The three of us just consciously know where we are and kind of just keep picking up. See, I want to work with Robinette, my DJ girl, and then I want to work with Tim. I feel like the three of us can kind of, you know, lay back and let the big dogs kind of pick each other off. We all kind of keep picking up. Side and one side. Yeah. And it could just be me and We can kind of just pick up the pieces and just come in like hyenas and pick up the scraps, even though deep down we're, we're three lions. But we know in this situation, we need to sit back and let, let the people that want to go after each other go after each other. All right, we'll bring in Aimir as our first jury member.
As a reminder, the jury is here to observe. They are not to be addressed and they cannot speak. They will be responsible for crowning the winner, Survivor Philadelphia, now or never. So we've got 10 players left in the game. This is the most chaotic time in the game, the Merge Tribal Council. All bets are off, right? You're free to build new bonds as you head into the future of this game. And so, Robinette, you won the challenge today. You showed an absolutely tremendous effort, outlasting all 15 other players. How did you do that? I was laser focused <laughs> and grounded. And so does that focus and that grounding go into this vote tonight? Do you feel confident in this merged tribe and your spot in it? I wouldn't say confident. <laughs> That's not the word. I feel shaky, honestly. Manfred, how does the game change from that feast and that appreciation of each other on the season turn to the gameplay of somebody's going home and it's about 10 minutes from now? Yeah, it's scary because, you know, some of us are meeting each other for the first time and we don't know each other and what our intentions are. And then you hear name things thrown around and you just hope that it's not yours. So it's really scary, but at the same time, there's a clear uh, my, uh, majority group in this tribe. So we'll see if we're going to stay tribe strong or if we're going to shake things up. Paige, do you know who that group is? I think it's the original Fairmount tribe. You know, there wasn't a tribe split or a shake up, so we don't know if those lines are still there, but um, I'm hoping they are. Gabe, how does that make you feel to hear the green former Fairmount tribe saying they feel tribe strong? Yeah, I mean, they obviously have the numbers, you know, purple only has four people left, so it doesn't make me feel good. And I can just hope that, you know, you make bonds and people aren't lying to you, even though they probably are, but you just gotta push on. And to close it out, Ben, do you feel hopeful? Do you think that these four can rally? And are you guys still in the game, or has it is it green domination? Um, I mean, it's, it's, this, it's so different and new, you know? Like, um, purple had gone to tribal so many times that, like, we understood the dynamics of that group and now you're meeting all these new people and you don't know if they're trustworthy or not. And, you know, you can just hope that people are being honest about cracks that may or may not be there. You hope they're there. And that's about it. <laughs> and, you know, you take all right. Shots. Well, the chaos and the flux of this present moment is crystallizing. Somebody's going to pay the price for that crystallization. We're going to find out who it is because it is time to vote. Timmy, you're up first. So, we may merge. Congrats, everybody. But somebody has to go. <sighs> Sorry, Ben. I lied to your face. Hope that doesn't bite me in the butt. This is the most nervous I've been at a tribal so far. Um, so, I hope it goes the right way. Gang, baby. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really, you know, I'm just hoping my small group sticks together for this book. I hope I'm right about this one. I don't know if I should feel as confident as I am. It's, it's war, it's peace, it's war, it's peace, it's war, it's peace. I choose war. Bye, Ben. All love. All right, I'll go tally the votes. All right, if anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you'd like to play it, now would be your time to do so. All right, I will read the votes. First vote, Ben. It's one vote, Ben. Ryan, one vote, Ben, one vote, Ryan. Ryan, it's two votes, Ryan, one vote, Ben. Ryan, that's three votes, Ryan, one vote, Ben. Ben. It's two votes, Ben. 
three votes, Ryan. Ben, we're tied. Three votes, Ben. Three votes, Ryan. Ben, that's four votes, Ben. Three votes, Ryan. Ben, that's five votes for Ben. Three votes for Ryan. Next person voted out of Survivor Philadelphia, now or never, is Ben. Ben, that's enough. Need to bring me your torch? Ben, try this spoken. Time for you to go. All right, you're down to nine. This game has gotten real. It's time to put yourself in a position to move forward and succeed in the future of this game. You can all head back to camp, grab your torches, have a good night. Well, you know, I came into the game saying that I wanted to play big as opposed to win. And I think I got to do that. I was a huge target pretty much every round. I've been targeting Ryan since the beginning because he's a big threat and they seem to like to little follow their little leader around. So they can keep doing that and we'll see where that gets them. But you know, props to him. The, the reason I mainly applied was my mom recently had a stroke and it was really scary. And you know, Survivor's always been like this thing that brings us all together. And I was like, she's probably like, you know, it's one of those moments where you're like, she'll probably never get to see me play Survivor because I'm never going to get on. And so I was like, you know, I want to take every opportunity I can to, you know, do that and make her proud. And, you know, it's something that brings my whole family together. And I know this will bring them together to, to watch me get voted out. But at least I made the first call. <laughs>